What's up everybody? Welcome back to Swanky Disc Reviews. I am Luke and today we are reviewing the Starframe Beast disc golf bag. I've had this bag for quite a while actually and I've been meaning to review it for quite a while but it kind of got put on the back burners. If you haven't heard, this is a really really cool disc golf bag. It's most similar I think to the Squatch Lore but as you'll see in this video I think it has some features that are actually better maybe a couple that are worse but we're gonna break it down I have five categories that we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about comfort storage durability style and affordability so let's jump into it first we're gonna talk about comfort uh, and I really really like this bag the straps are nice and padded it's a bag like I said similar to the size of the Squatch Lore so it's not quite in your big full-size bags I think this is a really really great casual bag um, the back is also padded as you can see here comfort I'm giving it a solid 8 out of 10 there's not much they could do better in the way of comfort so yeah we're gonna give it an 8 out of 10 really like it and move on to storage now we're talking about really the quality of the storage not the amount of discs it can hold because what's important here is the quality gonna give it the kick test water bottle kind of slid out there but that's probably on me I can cinch that tight and we'll do it again the kick test is very important your bag is falling over even if it has rails on the bo bottom you want to make sure that nothing is flying out of the bag as it falls over down a hill and this one is solid um, this is one of the better kick tests that I have ran the lore is also pretty good at holding the discs in but this was very good as you can see I have four putters in the putter pocket here the putter pocket is massive absolutely love it uh, the main compartment I think I have about 15 or 16 discs in here they slide out relatively easily could be better and then I also have two discs in the front pocket I really like the disc side of this storage then you also have a lot of very specific storage pockets here uh, you have like a couple drink holders you got one I have the classic big of a water bottle that you can fit in this side pocket that is the one thing that the Lord doesn't have that I really really wish it did have is like a cinchable side specific water bottle holder uh, it also has a couple zipper pockets my downfall with this bag is I think they have too much specific storage like they have a lot of little zippable pockets like these right here which are great but what it's missing and what pretty much every other disc golf bag has is one big side pocket where you can just dump towels and whatever you need in there I kind of wish one side of this bag was specific small storage um, and then the other side this side specifically I wish was a big bag I think it's awesome that it has the cooler has a little zipper pocket next to it and a lot of people find this to be a sought after thing to have the cooler I'm never gonna use it I wish this was just a zippable big side pocket that I could use and then the other side has the smaller zipper pockets for like wallet keys phone uh, it's got some like pencil pen holders I really love the storage on this thing and I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 because I think it is one of my favorite uh, it's also got this bottle opener here which is pretty cool um, so you can open all your craft sodas out there on the course uh, this is one of my favorite bags in terms of storage I think ever uh, if the lore had a water bottle holder it would basically be this but the lore does have the big side pocket I really wish this was combined with the lore and then we would have the perfect small bag um, I'm gonna move into durability now so 9 out of 10 for storage the storage on this thing is is sick my only point deduction being uh, not having a big side pocket for durability this does have pegs on the bottom of it the material feels pretty high quality uh, the bottom doesn't get super uh, super dirty because of these pegs I actually think I like the little stubs on the bottom more than I like traditional rails it stands up very very well uh, like I said the materials pretty high quality the straps don't feel like they're gonna break anytime soon I don't know really how to test that aside from having it for a much longer period of time so maybe I can give you guys an update uh, but I tossed it around the straps feel pretty sturdy the handle on top feels pretty darn good the material inside the bag feels pretty sturdy as well uh, so for durability I'm also gonna give this an 8 out of 10 for now because 
I'm not sure that like the lore feels like it's a higher quality material, but I could be crazy. Now we're going to talk about price and style kind of in the same go here. There's only two colorways for this specific bag, and that is this gray color, and they have teal color. I really like the look at, of it. I like this kind of almost Hawaiian uh, camo look, and I'm giving this style specifically, I would give like a 10 out of 10, but considering they only have two colorways overall, I'm going to give it another 8 out of 10. Could use some more colorways. The price on this on their website is claiming $115. It says it's usually $150. If we're talking $115, this bag is super worth it, and I'm giving the price a 9 out of 10 because you get so much bang for your buck. If it's $150, I'd not give it that high of a score. Uh, but I'm going to throw up the total calculated score here on the screen. Overall, I love this bag. I think it's some of my favorite storage, like I said, possibly ever. Um, be sure to check it out. Go to starframebags.com, I believe it is, and give it a try. I, I really enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe. See you in the next one. Stay swanky.